What's up, collectors? Today we got nine TTMs in the box. Pretty good for a midweek video. Let's get right to them. First one's coming out of Baltimore, Maryland. We got Mr. Tippy Martinez. Tippy signed four of four. No fee. Took 30 days. We got him on the 81. We got him on the 87. The 86 and the 85. Pretty cool one. I like this 81 for the set I'm working on. Tippy played from 74 to 86 for three different teams, but most notably the Orioles. Finished with a 55 and 42 record. 3.45 ERA, 115 saves, 632 strikeouts. He was an All Star in 83, as well as a World Series champ in 83. He is in the Orioles Hall of Fame. Fun little fact, he once picked off three Blue Jays in one inning. Pretty cool. Next, Adam, somewhere in Illinois. We got Mr. Rich Nye. Looks like Rich is a woodworker. So if you guys need any wood objects, bowls, plates, boxes, urns, and more, go check out Rich's website. We got Two of two from Rich, technically three with this autograph on his base and business card, pretty cool. No fee, we got him on the 69 and the 70, like this 69. Took 13 days. Rich played from 66 to 70, played with three different teams, but mostly the Cubs. Finished with a 26 and 31 career record, 267 strikeouts. Rich became a vet after baseball. He specialized in bird medicine, avian medicine, and he's written several textbooks on the subject since starting, so that's pretty cool. Happy to get those back next out of San Francisco, California. We got Mr. Len Gibrielson. Len signed three of three, no fee. Got him on a 65, love that set, a 66, and the 70. Personalized all of them. Never mind that, like the 65 the best. <clears throat> Signed three to three, no fee, 15 days. Len played from 1960 to 1970. He played for five different teams, but mostly the Dodgers. He totaled 708 games, 37 home runs, 176 RBI, and a 253 batting average. He led the Dodgers in the year of the pitcher, 1968, with 10 home runs, so not too bad. Happy to get that one back. Next, we got out of Atlanta Metro. We got Mr. Jim Nash. Jim signed three of three, no fee. Took 15 days, we got him on the 70, we got him on the 68, and the 67. I like that one the best, but it's a little off center. I'm gonna go with the 70. Jim played from 66 to 72, three teams, but mostly Oakland. He finished up with a 68 and 64 record, 1,100 innings pitched, a 3.58 ERA, and 771 strikeouts. He had a really solid rookie season. He went 12 and one with a 2.06 ERA for the KC Athletics. And he even snagged a few Rookie of the Year votes. Not too bad, happy to get that one back. Next out of Brockton, Mass, we got a local Massachusetts guy. We got Mr. Rich Hebner. Rich signed five of five, no fee. Took eight days, we got him on the 85, the 74, the 81, the 86, and what's that one? I think 77, maybe. I think I like this 85 the best, though. Rich played from 68 to 85, five teams, mostly with Pittsburgh. Played in 1,908 games, 203 home runs, 890 RBI, and a career 276 batting average. Rich is a local guy. He was born in Norwood, Massachusetts, so not too far from me. He was a World Series champ in 1971, and he was a batting coach for the Red Sox 
under the Joe Morgan, around the Joe Morgan era. So pretty cool. Next one out of Macon, Georgia. We got Mr. Bruce Benedict. Bruce signed five of five, no fee. Got him on the 87, the 88, the 86, the 85, and the 81. I like this 87 though, laying down a bunt it looks like. I really like the Braves logo from that era as well. This one took only nine days. Bruce played from 1978 to 1989. He played for one team, the Braves. Totaled 982 games. He had 18 career home runs, 260 RBI, and a 242 batting average. Nicknamed Eggs, as an Eggs Benedict. He was a two time All Star in 81 and 83. So, pretty cool one. Like that one. Put Eggs up there. Next, out of Carroll Stream, Illinois. We got Mr. Dan Schatzer. This one, Dan signed five of five, no fee. We got him on the 85, got him on the 81, got him on the 86, got him on the 88, and the 87. I don't know, something about these 87s. I'm enjoying them tonight. Dan played from 77 to 91 with nine teams. Mostly, most of his games were for the Expos. Finished up with a 69 and 68 career record, about 1,300 innings pitched. Finished with a 374 ERA, 748 strikeouts. He was a World Series champ in 1987. I'm not sure if I said it, but it only took nine days to get Dan back, so a pretty quick one. Pretty cool one to get back as well. All right, we got two more out of North Texas, P and DC, Dallas, Texas. Not sure what that all stands for. We got Mr. Danny Darwin. Danny signed five of five, no fee. Eight days, we got him on the 88, the 87, the 81, the 86, and the 85. Ooh, I don't know. I guess I'll go with the 81 for the set. No fee from Danny. Did I say it? I can't even remember. It only took eight days. Danny played from 1978 to 1998. Pretty long career there. Played for eight teams. Most of his games were with the Rangers, but he played four years with my Red Sox. Finished up with a 171 and 182 record, about 3,000 innings pitched, and a 384 ERA during that career. He finished up with 1,942 strikeouts, which puts him 97th all time on the strikeouts leaderboard. Which I always say it, but being top 100 in anything is amazing when you consider all the people who have gone through this league. Pretty cool nickname for Danny. He was Dr. Death. So would have liked to get that inscribed, but I'll take just the signature. All right. Last but not least, out of Phoenix, Arizona, we got Mr. Rick Manning. I've been buying up some, some 70s lots. Got this one in one of these 70s lots, so happy to add that one in. Really cool looking card. We got him on the 81, 85, 86, the 88. We got nine days, no fee. Rick played from 1975 to 1987. He played for two different teams, but mostly with Cleveland. Tallied up 1,555 games, 56 home runs, 458 RBIs. And a 257 batting average. Rick, I believe, is still a broadcaster for Cleveland. Um, and a fun fact, as a Red Sox fan, we can most likely thank Rick Manning for the arrival of Dennis Eckersley on the Red Sox. But I will let you look that story up yourself. All right, guys. Let me know who you like the best. I think I actually like this Rick Manning the best. 
pretty cool one all right thank you as for watching as always look forward to your comments take care